WNYwatercooler.com. If it's a turd burger, I'll have to put it on a bun and eat it. Yes! Yes! No! No! They can kiss my fucking ass right downtown and print it. Ghost! Shut up! Just shut up for a second. Are you all of a sudden... Yeah, yeah, but you don't shut up. <laughs> it's yeah. just business, Coach. Grow up. Put your big boy pants on. Read the New Yorker. Check the stock market. Fixing it up. Welcome back. Welcome back. WNYWaterCooler.com podcast. Uh, look for us on iTunes, uh, Twitter. Uh, where are we good podcasts? We got Wreck on the line. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah, um, I, Coast, nowhere to be found. Um, I'm glad to be here, Janice. What's popping? Uh, all day IPAs. Ooh, besides a cold beer on Thursday night. Well, uh, I mean, that's the only comfort I have watching this f- fucking franchise. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Well, I was, that's that's where you chime in here with some hot take or cold take or uh, Joshy Poo Allen. Uh, you want a hot take? You want a freaking hot take? Sean McDermott did not get this team ready to play. In, um. Yeah, we beat the Vikings. Congratulations! And then you come out the offense. You, okay, you throw the you throw the swing pass to McCoy. All of a sudden, you got second and three, and you you freaking um you end up punting. What do you expect against Aaron Rodgers? That's freaking pathetic. Sean McDermott, he knows he knows that he 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 lost it in his press conference, like he should have. I mean, that's what you get when you hire Brian Dable as your offensive coordinator. This guy is an absolute, he looks like an absolute scrub after this past game. He had one decent performance against Minnesota, but are you kidding me? Brian Dable, this guy, okay, he he coached under Nick Saban. Great, a defensive coach. And I don't have any... Any confidence in Brian Dable at all? Well, Josh Allen needs. To, Josh Allen needs to completely take over the offense. Tell Dable to get lost. If Allen knows what he's doing, then he'll tell Dable to completely get lost and completely start running his own offense. Well, I don't. I don't really know what you're talking about. I mean, Dable, what is our offense? We're we're down by ten points. I mean, okay, it, I guess, I mean, I hate him. I don't know what Dable's whole thing is. Uh, McCoy doesn't touch the ball enough. We, yeah, we okay, We the, the swing pass to McCoy, then run, run, punt. And then, I mean, it, well, you're talking about the Vikings game where we had a short field the entire time. We, I feel, I, other than our first drive, we started at, like, their 30, their 40, 20. I agree. I I mean I am not gonna I mean I'm I'm shitting on Dable but I'm not gonna complain about Dable right now like, he's not the problem it's our quarterback it's the whole franchise he we what was our plan this year to cut the only guy that's actually played in the NFL that hasn't like thrown up all like punched himself in the dick. Dude, it's four weeks in. It's four weeks in. We win this game. We're right back in the hunt, Janice. Come on. But what is, I'm talking about the overall plan of this franchise. Plan is to win a Super Bowl. I'm saying we win this game. You beat Tennessee, and you're right back in it. But that McDermott, he wants to win. I mean, you got to. You got to win. Oh, what the fuck are you? T- I'm saying we're not we're not set up to win. We're we're the oh, least I, we're I the agree. least we're the least set up to win of any franchise p- perhaps in history. What is our plan with Josh Allen? It, our, our plan is to what? Have him not play, and then oh wait no oh a half one half of one game. Uh, <laughs> no, actually he has to play because the other guy is a complete piece of shit. Right. 
you know, that's, yeah, no, I, I agree, dude. I, I would have, but yeah, after week one, if McDermott would have went back to Peterman, his, um, his head, his throat would have been chopped. Exactly. So he had no choice to go to Allen. But the whole, he, he gave himself no choice. He gave himself no choice. True. Oh my god! I don't see how I don't see how any of this is. is oh god! I hate watching Josh Gordon catch touchdowns for the Patriots, but I don't understand how any of this is going to work. There's I don't see any like I don't see how this is going to work. Okay. Wow, crazy. Jazz was or uh, water cooler. What's yeah? Besides, uh, you getting yeah. booted from a bar and me watching Josh Gordon catch touchdowns for the Patriots. <laughs> Can you concentrate, dude? I, I don't know what you want me to say. Josh Allen, he, he should not be playing. I said this. You can listen to me at week three. I mean, come on, the guy. He he was he's at Wyoming last year. He's got a he's got a big arm. He can he's a big dude. I mean, the defense. All right, well, let's focus one game at a time. Who who did we just play? Um, Green Bay. Yeah, they. Packers. McDermott, you ever hear of him? McDermott was McDermott did not have the team ready to play against Green Bay. The team, you, you cannot tell me. So did, did beating Minnesota get in our head? We we let winning one game against an allegedly good team who's 1-2-1. One, and one. They have the same amount of wins as the Bills. Did that really yeah, get into our head? Allen, yeah, I, I agree. I, I honestly think Allen all of a sudden thought he was a decent quarterback. But all, it shows he's not. He's a, he's a piece of shit. Even the fanboys. Yeah, we all thought he was good because he... What he dove for a a pass, or dove for a touchdown, and jumped over a guy. Well, breaking news: that's that's not going to work actually in the NFL week to week. Right. Yeah, it's. I mean, Allen. I. He can only do he. It's it's Josh Allen. He does what he does. He's he's he throws big. He throws deep balls, but he's not going to freaking um. Has he completed on one deep ball this entire season? No. I mean, he hasn't played that much. So. He threw to win- Jason uh, Windows Chrome for like a decent ball. Well, that well, was a deep ball. The ball yeah. didn't travel no. in here. All I'm saying is, uh, water cooler, all I'm saying is, McDermott, he, he completely screwed it up. He, didn't want, he did not want um, Allen playing this early. You know that. So. I never thought it's, I'd miss Co so much on a podcast. Fuck my life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> you just you can't handle it here. Do you? Have, I mean, we got to keep this going. It's only been eight minutes, but you got to give me some more hot takes here. I mean, I'll rant on some stuff, but I, do we? Give me some thoughts on anything. Do you want hot takes, Chance? Come on. I mean, we're one and three. We're freaking one and three. Coming off a of playoff berth. I mean, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Well, it was. You think I'm fucking happy, man? This team. Yeah, Lorenzo Alexander needs to be cut. Kyle Williams needs to go retire. He made one sack, and all of a sudden, people think he, he people think he's like freaking all of a sudden John Randall, like circa '99. Like, dude, come on, no. <sighs> None of that, I, none of those guys are the problem. You didn't even realize last week that Shaq Lawson was only playing defensive tackle. We have this Lewis guy who drops an easy touchdown for interception. Uh, I mean, the only bright spot, and then both of our safeties, two of our three safeties are out. Raphael, uh, our boy, yeah, hasn't, shit. he isn't practicing, and neither is Hyde. We got, all we got is Poi Boy. I mean, I'll actually, I'll walk back my, uh, I had a hot take on our middle linebacker who I said he's garbage, but uh, he actually. Uh, water cooler, I'm, I'm moving from the back, back video to close the 11th. 
to the front. So, but yeah, I agree, man. Um, McDermott needs to get Tremaine. get the GSP going, man. Where is Chris Ivory? Chris. Who, Chris Ivory is like the most inconsequential player in the history of the Buffalo Bills. Wow, this like, this is like an old... Inconsequential, whatever you say. <laughs> inconsequential. Who cares about Chris Ivory? I do, man. Like, okay, anyways. Friggin', um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. We... <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, dude, we just lost to the freaking, um... Oh, okay, a team that's actually relatively good because they have a good quarterback. Who? Okay, so what's your outlook on this season? We have... The next three games are very winnable against a terrible division. Two guns, oh, two of the three on the road. How that's even possible? What? How are every two out of three of our games on the road? When the Patriots are at home every single friggin' week, it seems like. Well, I mean, I'm not done breaking down the freaking, uh... You didn't even remember who we uh, play. You still don't remember who we played. Packers. Uh, yeah, we got... Yeah, that... that Leslie, Le, Leslie Frazier needs to freaking go, man. Okay, yeah, great. Our defense has actually been good. So, fire the defensive coordinator. Who cares? If I hear Leslie Frazier's name again, I'm gonna drive to Albany and kill you. Okay, so what do you, what's your what's your um what's your long term goal? Say we don't make the playoffs this year. What's our what's our goal after that? We have ten Our's draft color. picks, and we have like sixty huh? mil. We have ten draft picks. Uh, we're not making the playoffs. Ten draft Wait, picks. We're not making the playoffs. Yeah, is, are you saying that we're not making the playoffs? Yes. <laughs> the Bills. We're not making the playoffs. The Bills. The Bills. Yes. No. Okay, we're, we're done. We're not going to make the playoffs. We, That's no? correct. That is correct. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> that might be the least interesting thing ever said, but... Okay, we had 10 draft picks. I would go 9 draft picks on offense, 1 cornerback. I'm just going to go... I'm just going to r- rotate. Receiver... Offensive line, running back, offensive line, tight end, offensive line, receiver, offensive line. I mean, that that's my whole plan in the draft next year. And to trade out of the top three, which we definitely will be picking, and get, like, six second-round picks. I don't even care about value. Just give me a bunch of second-round picks. I don't – there's no way we can possibly, like, draft in the top ten a defensive player. You're worried about – um. You're worried about Watson and um, O'Brien and Reich and um, Reich and Luck? No, we'll win two of the next three just because we're playing terrible teams. But, uh, well, actually, the Colts. The Colts. Right back in it, bro. Janice, come on. We're going to be. I want this team to get a. We got two games against Miami. Yeah. Yeah. We can still win this division. The Patriots are going to... They p- might not lose again until December. Okay. Anyways. Um, might win the division. What? I mean, if the Patriots died, maybe. Um, yeah, they're going to be 3-2. They We're, just got a lucky uh, interception. We, we, we could be 2-3 and three after this week. <laughs> yeah, we could be. I mean, we're four-point dogs at home, but... Against a t- a guy a quarterback who that can't has no feeling in his passing hand, so how's that how's that make you feel? It feels like this, this squad needs a fucking revamp again. We need to hire the next Mike Vrabel. Is that what you're saying? No, I mean if we lose this game, I want Bean gone. I want McDermott gone ASAP. You're gonna fire these guys after. Yes, yes. What the fuck? Well, so you're just going to fire coaches and hire coaches every, like, fucking two years? Well, you're speaking nonsense, man. 
We need ghosts here, like the cockeyed optimist, because you're just wandering through the streets, getting booted out of bars, and I'm watching the Patriots just run roughshod over the Colts. I, I, this is the saddest podcast we've ever had, I think. All right, well, let's, let's talk um, real real shit then. Water, WNY, my bad. Um, so who's um, how's our old line looking? These days, yeah, I mean, I I know we got uh, we got Sh- Showman uh, Dawkins. Is Jordan Mills or uh, Jordan Mills still playing left guard? I honestly don't even fucking know. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to dignify this conversation. But the guy that we drafted three years ago, the guard, he's horrible. Miller, he's that guy's bad, but. The offensive line is not the problem. The offensive line is adequate at best, I'll say. They're adequate at best. We don't run the ball. We don't get first downs. So, and uh, Josh Trash exactly, Allen. because I was the one saying Dayball Ball, is a douchebag, and then all of a sudden I get like shit. Like, what the fuck? Tra- well, Trash Allen, he, he like turns into sacks. He doesn't get rid of the ball. No receivers get any separation. The whole game plan makes no sense. I mean, we have to lean on our defense, so maybe we should draft defensive players next year in the draft. That, I mean, I'm just oscillating between worse and and worser. I we have no good options. Yeah, it doesn't get much. It doesn't get much worse than this if we lose Sunday. It really doesn't get much worse than we lose. If if we lose Sunday, it does not get much worse than fucking this. It does not. Yeah, the only thing worse is we have to go at Houston at Colts. And if we lose, if we lose two out of three of those games, uh, we gotta win Sunday. We gotta, we gotta win Sunday. Derrick Henry, someone has to pump that dude in the, in the hole. Someone needs. Well, we know that uh, their other running back completely owns us. Does oh well, yeah, we let we let Zach Brown we let Zach Brown go. We let Preston Brown go. So yeah, hopefully we have some backers that can hit. Um, Henry. Matt Dion. Dion was Marcus Mariota had 344 yards passing last week. Where the hell have I been? But Tennessee's three and one. I I'm surprised that this line's actually not higher. That just shows the respect that uh, they have for the Titans. That no one has any respect for them. But just give me. All right. Well, yo. yo anyways. Let's... Uh, so any, if we if we somehow pull off W this Sunday, we're two and three. Then we then we go to Houston. Can you? Uh, are we gonna? Do we have a chance at Houston? They're one and three. Why would we not? If we if we beat Tennessee, we definitely have a chance. I suppose at Houston. Houston's not good. So you think we get a three and we get the three and three? You send you is if we win this week. I'm so that's what I'm saying. All right. Well, okay. No, I hear what you're saying there. That that's why I think. Well, I don't think that any Bills fans are right. The, the only thing that's lower than Bills fans right now are Sabres fans. But I think if we show up, we hit Mariota. Maybe the it rains a little or something. Maybe Josh Allen. I mean, the, we've only had one home game. And it was over in the first quarter. So maybe I can't even say we're going to play better at home, but this franchise schedule completely fucked us and our GM and coach fucked us. Bottom line. Hello? Yeah, I'm saying I agree. Yeah, well, your phone's breaking up. We're we're just going to have to end this early. Just... Give me a prediction or a couple of takes that you actually talk into your phone for. If we, if you want to, if we're gonna make the playoffs, we have to win this game. Then you're, then you're gonna play Houston at Houston, and probably most likely one of those two games. Most likely two. And then you got. New England at Monday night. We're gonna have to win two of those three games. So I mean, we're gonna have to do three and four. Four. I mean, come on. This this game is pretty much a must-win game if you want to make the playoffs. 
You talking about the playoffs is the funniest thing ever, but to keep the season no, alive. Why? Why, dude? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna go on this cast if I'm talking about like draft picks. Come on. Well, this I mean team, that's the level. This team can't draft. Brandon Bean just proved that he can't draft already. Well, we had to we had to trade up. We had to use three picks for every one player we want. But I mean, I I hear you somewhat. I mean, vaguely, but. It is actually a big game just to keep the season alive because, well, I mean, the next two. We gotta make the playoffs, man. The next two are winnable, but, I mean, we can't go in against that New England team like one in five. I can't handle that. There's no point in even going, but. Well, I think at at um at Houston is a lot harder game than at Indy. Yeah. Well, yeah, I agree with that. I mean. Nah, eh, actually, I think they're both – both those teams suck. But Tennessee, if we don't hang with – if we lose to Tennessee by more than 10 points, then I'm flushing the whole season down the toilet. We have to keep this game close. If we get crushed by Tennessee, I mean, I that that's just sad. That, man. What? I said I can't believe you're, you're even, like, talking like that. We, we have to win. I mean, we should, we, well, we have to win, but I'm just saying, I'll be at the game. You won't be. You'll be at a bar, passed out in the back of the bar when they kick you out at 11, 8, 11 p.m. You won't even remember what happened, but I'll be at the game, and guess what? We could lose by more than 10 points, and if we do, that's pretty pathetic. Right. If we go to one, if we have to one of four, yeah. You you keep uh, you, you're fading out. All I said is we need to win. Give me your prediction. We're ending this. Just give me your prediction. I'm predicting the Bills win. I'm gonna say um twenty twenty two to friggin uh sixteen. Twenty two sixteen. Wow. Bills. Bills. I have us losing twenty three twenty and. It's going to be a it's going to be a sad Columbus day for us federal employees. Right. I mean okay, I, So you're saying if we win this game, it's chance. Just say if we win this game, do we have a chance to make the playoffs? If we win this game, do we have a chance to make the playoffs? Yes. Yeah, a chance. Do you think we will? No. If we win this game, no. But if we win the next three, then that's a different conversation. At 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 Houston is the only game I'm worried about, to be honest with you. I'm glad that you're honest, but uh, <laughs> I I mean Bill O'Brien, uh, Frank Reich, uh, Mike Vrabel. I mean I don't like McDur. <laughs> I don't like McDarn at at all, but. I mean, he's not facing some fucking geniuses the next three weeks. I mean, if we get blown right. out in any of these games, right? This it, is, this is the easiest easiest um, game that uh, McDermott's got in the next three weeks. So he has to be better win this freaking game. Yeah, we're gonna be the new factory of sadness if we lose. If we get blown out in any of the next three games, blowout to me is more than th- two touchdowns. So, well, hopefully, it doesn't happen. I mean. Uh, Get to Buffalo, man. What What are you busy on Monday? Get here. Go to the game. One and two. I'm not going to – or one and three. I'm not going to freaking roll up and watch Vrabel freaking run us up. You're just talking about the playoffs. But, I mean, that's that's a moment of uh, clarity there for you. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll talk to you next week. Okay, Steve. Thanks. Thanks for the thanks for the invite. I'll, I'll talk to Coast and you uh, next week, bitch. Bills like Buffalo. Go fuck yourself. Shit, I'm all about the bills like Thurman Thomas. I don't tip, I pay bills. Bitches call me Buffalo. Hug- fuck it. Do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. Yeah. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Okay, Lawrence. Yes.